I don't know what's going on. Anyway, hello everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. It's me, Lainey, and we're here drawing some fan art because it's Tuesday and that's what we do. We are drawing the Scooby Gang from the Scooby Doo show that's been going on for many a decades, much longer than I've been alive. You know, I feel like most people know who these characters are. Even like all the reboots and everything that's going around. We got the doggo, Scooby. We love, you know, best dog. We wish we had him, except kind of not. He's kind of a scaredy cat. Um, and then we've got Shaggy, scaredy cat also. Um, I don't know, but I always thought that Shaggy was Scooby's owner, even though he kind of like belongs in the group. Just Scooby and Shaggy are just the best duo. Um, they're pretty much exactly the same on every level. Like, they love food and they're easily terrified. Um, and then we've got Velma. We love her, you know. There's orange stockings. Like, where do I buy them? Uh, Daphne, you know, the redhead. Uh, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people used to have crushes on her. Um, I don't know why I think that. She's just the kind of characters I feel like a lot of people would have a crush on you know let me know if you ever had a crush on Daphne or any of the ones Shaggy was always my favorite um just saying and then there is Fred who is you know the dude <laughs> the other dude <laughs> um I don't really know I don't really know I don't really notice Fred that often honestly I never felt like he left the most impression He's kind of the leader of the group, but he's also kind of the least interesting of the group. Although he does have an ascot, and uh, that's always cute. One thing when I was um, drawing all these different characters is that they all have a sort of orange tone in them somewhere. Like, Shaggy's pants are orangey-brown, and Scooby is also an orangey-yellowy-brown. Because me and Scooby's brown, but it's kind of warm. He's just a general warm tone, so it just works. And then there's Velma. I don't need to explain how she's orange. Her shirt's orange, and her socks are orange. She's, like, I would say a good 70% orange. Then we got... Daphne's hair that's orange and then Fred's ascot um with the two in the background Daphne and Fred uh, <laughs> they, I didn't end up drawing like what their legs look like so I didn't get to draw the coolness of Daphne's dress I don't know I love Daphne's outfit a lot I don't know if it's a dress that um like has like a really long cuff that's lighter or if it's like an under thing because I can't really be an under thing because sorry I'm just like having this realization moment um let's talk about the actual drawing instead of the characters because I don't know the characters too well I never really watched this show very often actually the show confused me a lot was when I was younger and trying to watch it I never got it I just never got it like I loved watching it but I was never the best at paying attention so what would happen is I'll be like there and I remember all the beginning and then I don't remember much of the middle and then there's like the end where it's like oh my god it was the gatekeeper <laughs> the gatekeeper it was the manager it was this person and I'm like I've never seen that person in my life like when when were they in the story like who are they <laughs> this is like the least relatable thing but and seriously every time i just like the people who were the monsters and stuff i didn't know who they were in the end and there was like the big reveal and it's just like uh-huh i don't know them. <laughs> and it's I'm just like, I don't think they were ever in the show, honestly. Um, 
sorry, I'm just laughing at myself and how ridiculous that is. Because I'm a ridiculous person and that's how we are. Anyway, we're five minutes into this video and I haven't even talked about the actual drawing. Um, when I was coming up with a concept, I wanted to draw a bunch of like children's cartoons and somebody said Scooby-Doo and I'm like, you know what? Yes. So, so that's what I did. I drew the Scooby gang and while I was trying to think of like a pose, I was like, what would... What would they be doing? They go out and they're like looking for monsters. And I was looking at, and I, um, when I thought of the Scooby Gang, one image popped in my mind. And they're all walking in like a straight line. And their legs all look pretty much the same, just with like different pants. And they all have their torches or flashlights or whatever you call them. Um, and there's just like, they're all looking, um, for whatever they're looking for, I guess. The monster, the ghost phantom i don't know the zombie i don't know uh so i wanted to have a drawing where they're all looking for something but for some reason 90 percent of the time uh scooby and shaggy find the ghost thing before anyone else does so i wanted to draw them being frightened by some mysterious force and they've dropped the torch and then the other three are just looking around completely oblivious it's like as if he's not screaming and if they as if they haven't noticed but you know I don't know, I think it's a cute post. And then with the lighting, I didn't know exactly what to do since I knew I wanted this drawing for them to be mostly more in darkness. I did an overlay which is just a transparent uh, single color, multiple colors that goes over an image so you can still see everything underneath it whatever whatever and then I just use the eraser tool and cut out spots where I wanted the light to be and then I blurred it because it's like I didn't I wasn't super careful when I did the little cutout bits and then I did some more areas that were dark and some more areas that were light and then trying to get the light from the torches was not uh, as easy as I thought it would be. First I just did like a beam of light coming out of it and it looked kind of ridiculous and I was not a fan. Um, and so I took a small break and I scrapped it and then I came back to it a little bit later and then we got what we have in the end which is what I did. It was two layers. The first layer was just a little ball like that I blurred uh, right at the opening, the mouth, the light, <laughs> where the where the globe is. There's a little ball and it's just a big ball. It's got an luminosity layer, which means it is bright. <laughs> and then there's an overlay layer on top of the luminosity layer, which is a beam of light. Um, one thing I really wanted to do with the torches is... All, because the TV show is old, all old torches use warm light, it globes. These days, whenever you look at torches, they're all cool lighted. And what that means is that if it's a warm light, that means it's got a more yellow toned light to it, you know. For me, it makes me feel more at home and safe. It's kind of like the sun, you know, the swamp. sun is a warm light because it's, it's the sun. <laughs> and then cool light makes me think of something more clinical, like a hospital. Um, you know, a lot of screens emit blue light and all that jazz. So, cool light, warm light, lighting. It's good time, great time, I guess. I don't even know, but just a little random tidbit from me. The, every video from me is just a random information that nobody wanted to know or asked for, but here I am. Here we are, living our lives. Um, it was all, this drawing was so much trial and error, and even though it does not probably look as good as I could have made it, if I just did the usual way I do things, I still think that it turned out all right. It's all right. Um, anyway, I think we've come to close enough to the end of the video that I can just relax and chill and stop talking about lighting even though i could do it for so much longer i'm not gonna bore you anyway 
thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to do the youtube things like comment subscribe you know what they are press the bell notification thing if you want to get notified that i posted something i don't know why but you can do it um i hope you have a fantastic rest of the tuesday and if it's not tuesday when you're watching this i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i will see you all in my next video okay maybe maybe i'll see you in my next hopefully please come back love me <laughs> issues anyway bye